are you? This is Tony Vilalta, Product Manager at BSN. Today we are going to talk about a very useful feature, especially nowadays, when you want to have more engagement with your audience by automating content to be published to social platforms, OTT, etc. So let's see how to schedule content to this digital platform using BSN Crea. Let's access to BSN Crea and first of all, we will see how to create and manage your own digital platforms. If we go to the administration, under the nonlinear platform section, you will be able to edit and see the information of all your digital platforms, social networks, OTTs. Let's create a new platform, we will call it YouTube. Optionally, you can set a related linear channel to do catch up, we will see that later, and a color to identify that platform into the nonlinear calendar. Important, select a plugin that should be predefined under the plugin section of VSN Crea with all the API information. And also optionally, we can set the source, the available media source information. We can select if the platform is active or not. And in cases like YouTube, we will be able to map multiple metadata fields with the parameters of this platform. In the case, title, text, description. Let's see one example. I want to combine the synopsis of the content. Let's copy the format and paste it in the description of YouTube. We can add different symbols. And I want to combine it with the, for example, synopsis of the production. Copy and paste. Same with the tags. For example, I want to use the genres of the content. Content, Copy, paste. We can add semicolon, any symbol, with the actors, for example, of the production itself. So we are defining predefined metadata for the publications. Now we are ready to schedule content using this platform. There are several ways from the catalog and also doing catch up from the broadcast linear scheduling. First, from the catalog, we can search our content and individually for each production, clicking this button, we can schedule to different platforms. We select the platforms and also we can add or remove more productions. We can set a publishing date and time and also an unpublishing date and time. Also from the content, we can schedule all the productions of this content. So in this case, we can also add or remove existing productions and we can also select the platforms. For each platform or for all of them, we can select the publishing date and the unpublishing date time. And for each platform, we can see different parameters, different metadata. Remember the case of YouTube where we selected predefined metadata. Here we see the tag, the description that we predefined from information from the catalog. But we can change individually each parameter or multiple selection. Let's select all of them. And in bulk way, we can select the same playlist, the same category for all the selected schedules. And this will schedule all that productions. The other way is do an episodic scheduling. For all the productions of a series, I'm able to select the platforms and multiple contents from the catalog. Let's select, for example, another content. This will create a sequential scheduling by saying when is the start date. I want to start from this date. Optionally, the end date. The start chapter. It's very important. And optionally, the last chapter. Then we can say every Thursday or multiple days of the week. I want the system to schedule one chapter at this specific time. And I want the system to unpublish that one day after, one week or never. Also, for each segmentation, we can specify different time. The other way is using the linear broadcasting to do a catch up. Let's open one specific playlist of one day. And if I want that at this time, when I'm broadcasting the event for the linear channel, I want to do a catch up, I just have to select, for example, for Modern Family, I want to do a catch up to Dailymotion, to YouTube, to an OTT. When I save the playlist, I'm creating the schedulings for this episode. If we go to nonlinear, here is where we'll see information of all our schedulings. Doesn't matter if they come from catalog, episodically, or from catch up. In the calendar, we will be able to navigate to the different months to see the different schedulings. We can also edit or delete them, create new ones. 
and also we can use the filters by any parameter we can filter by platform by production by segmentation by status by channel scheduling type we can also use the list view where we can see all our schedulings even the ones that we just created we can also use the same filters by platform production by status, publishing date, unpublishing date, etc. We are also able to edit any scheduled content to be modified in the future, depending on the status. Now I can change the date, I could change the metadata in some cases, and I can do exactly the same from the calendar view. Even for the episodic schedulings, I can edit and change, adding more days, changing the dates, etc. From here also I can create new schedulings, edit them, so I can do all the work within the nonlinear module. How we can get the result of our productions that have already been published? We can filter in the catalog by the platform where the productions are published and in this case we can preview the content from that platform. This content, this episode, is in the MAM system, but it's also in Dailymotion, it's in Facebook, Vimeo, YouTube, so we can preview using the API integration with the platform, embedding the player inside the catalog. If you want to see more information, we can access to the record of the production equine, and we can see the playlist, when it has been published, and all kind of information. Finally, we can create our own reports. For example, let's create a report from the nonlinear scheduled content. And we can add our own schema, our own columns, platform, publishing date, unpublishing date, status, production. You can also add filters on your report. For example, by platform, I just want to see anything published to one particular platform or publishing date. And also, we can group the results of our report by any available metadata from the nonlinear schedulings, like nonlinear platform. Once we group, we are able to use the graphics where we can see in a visual way how many content has been syndicated to YouTube, Facebook, or any other digital platform. Finally, we can export the reports in any digital format. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you and if you need more information, please visit our website or contact us. Thank you for your time.